Deciding which books are inappropriate for high school students and who decides, that's the topic once again tonight in the York Central School District. As Fox 43's Logan Perone reports, the Central York School Board tonight once again read a proposed library resource policy which has become a focus of candidates running for school board this year. The Central York School District continued discussion tonight. This is not finished product at okay. all. Okay. On a proposed library resource policy. So we are now on version 7 of this policy. It stems from the pulling of two books from the high school library after a challenge form submitted to the district. Current Republican School Board candidate Faith Casale said via email she submitted that request. Casale, who was out of town and not at tonight's meeting, wrote in part, I do not believe in banning books. We have over 16,000 books in our district. I do believe in age-appropriate and educationally appropriate materials being available in the school setting. Democratic candidates Amelia McMillan, Benjamin Walker, and Mike Stewart, who are against the removal of those books, say the materials are not the issue. It really is an issue about parental rights, which is doing what's best for the interest of your own child, not, you know, a school board candidate deciding that they're going to make the decision. What's been happening right now is a big corrective from the administration's really large misstep of trying to ban these books while not having a policy that was fit for that purpose. McMillan, Walker, and Stewart also voiced their concerns that Casale was the one who challenged those materials. During public comment, community members... It's un-American. These library resources promote diversity, equity, and inclusion for social-emotional indoctrination. Remain on two different pages. I just, I think it's very interesting that some people are confusing this with indoctrination when they still do have a choice to stop their child from reading it. The board ultimately approved policy 109.1 to go for a final vote. The policy institutes a book rating system and gives parents the ability to keep their children from accessing certain materials. Casale also wrote in her response, I fully support our administration's direction and proposal of a rating system as a way to make parents aware of their children's reading options, something both sides agree on. The fact that they're writing a policy right now to review potentially pulling books out of the library, to me that's a very positive thing. The board will vote on whether to implement the new policy on June 20th. Logan Perone, Fox 43 News.